forward, we learned some lessons about you know the attitude that you have to have away from home with a, with a different group that we had last year. So so from that aspect, I think there's some huge lessons that you know hopefully at Wasps and, and the back end of the the Pro 12 where we've got a couple of tougher away games that should put us in a good place. Set ourselves incredibly high standards and and you want to finish top of the league every year so so it hasn't moved that much from our perspective you know every game is is that little bit harder and and you know when you're Leinster and you you know you've won the league last year and you've got a very very rich successful tradition teams are going to come and play against you and every time you go away it's probably their biggest day playing against the current champions playing against Leinster is is going to be a huge day for them so you know, we've, we've had to make some adjustments in, in how we approach, you know, away games and, and you know, I, th I think, you know, we'll have some tough tests moving forward, but, you know, I wouldn't be overly disappointed with our away form so far and, you know, like we said there, there's, there's some good opportunities to prove how good we are in tough environments moving forward. Pretty, pretty critically, and, and you know we've we've had a look at what's let us down and what needs to be better, and and I think you know given all the circumstances that go into a performance and and a halfway point in the season, we'd be pretty comfortable where we are. You know we know that there's growth in our game, but you know to be in touch in the league, to be to be still alive in Europe, and and you know a lot of guys coming back fresh, you know with a genuine desire to to demonstrate how good they are. I think. You know, we're in a pretty good place. We've got everything to play for and I think you know, our destiny will certainly be determined by you know, what we can get out of the cast game. Um, and, and then it'll be you know, winners take all, I'd imagine it was. Momentum's huge um, and I think they will, you know, they will given the, the dynamics of you've got to pick the blokes that are registered, they will put out a very, very good side, regardless of who they pick. So, you know, we're going to have to be good. We're going to have to make sure that, you know, we, we, we manage the contest and, and do everything that we can to get maximum points out of it. And, you know, if we could achieve that, um, I think we'd give ourselves every chance of certainly topping the group. And, and you know, beyond that, you'd, you'd like to put yourself in a position to be at home in a quarter final. To be to be changing six, seven, eight guys every week is an ideal, and it and it makes it hard to, to build game on game. Uh, I mean, the, the probably the most telling point of that is we've used ten centre combinations already this year, so um, you know it makes it hard to to gel guys together and and you know feed off each other and all those bits and pieces. But you know, I think I think the the draw for us this Six Nations with you know a couple of very winnable games early on in the Six Nations and then a couple of test breaks which will give us the ability to get blokes back out of the test environment and, and bolster the group I think worked very well for us last year and, and I think if we, can, um, if we can set ourselves up with a bit of momentum over the next couple of weeks you know as I said with fresh bodies coming back into that group you know it, it, it happens very very quickly and you know you go from you go from February to May in a blink of an eye so so from that end you know it's it's right there it's tangible and it, it, it gives guys really good clarity of focus that you know if we if we put it together and you know we've we've got a full deck to pick from that will be as good as anyone you know Johnny's world class you know he's demonstrated that for, for Ireland and Leinster um, and the Lions that you know that there aren't that many world-class tens in the world currently, and and he's at the very very top of that list. So so that's positive. You know he's he's a Leinster lad. You know he's he's he has an incredible passion to pull on that shirt and be as good as he can, and and that rubs off on the group. You know talking to guys that have been in and around the environment previously with Johnny. You know he drives the standards incredibly hard, and he wants to be really good, he wants to win everything and, and you know that's infectious and, and rubs off on everybody in the environment and you know to have those sort of guys in and around it um, just just drives the whole place to be as good as we can be. Thankfully with you know the, the demands of the game you know there's opportunities for, for guys to play and come in and out of the group and, and rest and, and rotate in a, in a fashion that, that keeps everyone at their best and everybody on their toes and fresh. He's, he's played a lot outside of 10. He's been at 12 a lot. He's been at 15 and, you know, 
and he's played a lot at 10 as, as, as well. So, you know, the, the versatility that gives is an unbelievable luxury that, that we've been very, very fortunate to have. Yeah, definitely, and you know, that's, that's where the combinations are important. And that's where time's important because you know they need to play together. They need to experience the you know the highs and lows of the game and, and to develop. And unfortunately, there's hard lessons to learn when you when you're developing and, and you you becoming accustomed to the higher levels. And, and you know whether that's European Cup or Pro 12 or Test level, you know there is a transitional period that goes with that. And you know I'm very comfortable that the guys that we have in the environment will take those opportunities and, and learn those lessons and that the learning curve will be quite steep. But at the same time, there is a transitional period for those guys, a number of games that they need to play at that level to experience the things that they need to be as good as they can be. The, the tangible thing about coming into this environment was you know making sure that we were better and you know to, to get out of our group last year was, was very, very pleasing. Um, to, to finish top of the league um, and, and win the title was again, you know, a, a really significant goal that the group set at the start of the year. Now, you know, how do you surpass that? You know, you've got to make sure that the consistency of, of it is better and, you know, we wouldn't, as a group, be at all happy with how consistent we've been in the first six months of the season. But I think there's a tremendous opportunity starting with, with Cardiff to, to put out a performance that will give us the momentum into the European Cup. Um, you know, a huge game against Casts, where largely that will determine our fate. Now, if we can put out a performance that, that warrants maximum points, we go away to Wasps with everything to play for. And I think, you know, if we could do that, then we could um, we could put ourselves in a position to to top the group and, and be at home in a, in a quarter final. Well, then you've got everything to play for. And I think, you know, with with the bodies that we'll have post Six Nations, I think, you know, we, we're capable of beating anyone in Europe and. You know, certainly in Dublin. So, so that's the immediate focus: is is to make sure that we do everything that we can, everything that we can control, to get out of our group and, and top that group with enough points to be in a in a home quarter final. And then it, it's as we said there, it's it's into the Six Nations and making sure that we we get every point to get ourselves a home semi final. <laughs>